The butt? Hello, fellow heroes. I'm Action Smack Chun, the two in one hero made up of a virus from the 70s and a guy who likes to watch things. And I am about to watch Ultraman Blazer episode four. It's about Emmy. And if you have been keeping up, I have a crush on her. She's really cute. So I'm really excited. Let's go. Well, I appreciate you saying so, sir. Oh, the secretary look is so cute. Ooh, it's a monster. Uh, but I kind of ran out of names for it. It also kind of looks like an Ascalotl. A really messed up Ascalotl. It's the Aska too much -o. Axolotl? Ascalotl. You guys are going to take care of it with drones? Whoa, what the? Ew! Ew! Oh, no wonder Shoto Ishinomori uses foam. That stuff's gross. That's our product at work. It's what we do. We make insecticide. So what is it? Is it going to be an episode about Emmy fighting because she doesn't want to deal with goo? But if it's an episode about Emmy, what is Blazar going to do? Maybe more like, what is Captain Gento going to do? Ooh, what an attractive silhouette. Oh, in the comments, let me know who your favorite Ultraman protagonist is. I think mine is still, is still Takeshi Yamato from Ultraman 80. Hard to beat. But Gento, Gento can try. The Molluscan Kaiju Lavira suddenly appeared. Lavira? I don't know its origin or purpose, or where it will appear next. But that doesn't sound like Oxalotl. Ask too much. Is it stop motion? <sighs> oh, Captain. How is Emmy's mission? Emmy. Emmy? Who's Emmy? Oh! oh. What time is it? <laughs> oh no, Gento. Is she gonna be okay? I hope she's okay. She has fish. She's perfectly fine. Beautiful fish. So it's not a messed up axolotl. It's a ask not a dottle. Ooh, we're already getting a fight. Oh, and we have somebody else piloting. Oh, we have somebody who knows everything about how to pilot this thing piloting. Please know more about fighting. Oh my gosh, he was hoping to camp it. Ew. Oh my god. I don't like how it's shimmery. Ew. No, stay out of the ground. Actually, that's a pretty dope shirt. I don't like how Shimonetta the goop looks. Maybe I should have named this one Vagoo, if you know what I mean. Excuse me, what are you? I mean, honestly, what, what am I to judge? I meditate to like the 70s tokusatsu openings. La Vera? You mean Vagoo Goop? I don't got this. Calm down, will ya? I'm doing this. Doing this! Whoa. Oh no, everybody saw that. You guys look like a weird couple now. Wow, they are just staring. They really don't care about you guys. They want to look at some dolphins. What is this nerd app? Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's crazy that that worked. That would have to have been like the highest resolution picture, man. Maybe the app was like an upscaler? Vagoo, goo. Still can't believe she made me put on a show. <laughs> yeah. Oh my I gosh. Was such a good actor. <laughs> so they actually were performing. I really like him hitting his head a little bit there, because they do almost make Gento kind of perfect. Almost, he's like he just like teeters on the edge of like almost like OP kind of perfect. <laughs> But then they like uh, know uh, to help balance him out. They they had to occasionally put like some quirks, um, kind of like when whenever he does his brain blast, I got this uh, moment. While you do trust that he has a strong idea, there is always like that element of there is something he wasn't quite prepared for in the in like the same sequence. <laughs> and while he does you know handle whatever it is. It does show that he he's not completely infallible. <laughs> and I like that a lot because I, I get to see him both as um, like kind of a paragon hero, but also he still has his flaws and there's still, you know, a lot we don't know about him um, regarding like his cute girl wife and his and his child. We don't know anything about them. We know that he um, we know that he is not with them at the moment. 
Oh man, we know that he's very good at his job, but he might not be a great husband and father in terms of, you know, being physically there for them. But I can't wait to understand the circumstances regarding that. <laughs> it always travels through the ground and back here. The most advanced tech in the world, and you used it to create this monster? Are you that obsessed with money? Money? Silly girl, I want respect, of course! Excuse me, that's cute girl. Alright, alright! What was that music? What a narcissist. Let's take her to the cryogenic chamber. Was he offended by that? Because that is one thousand percent what he is. Ooh! Gento fighting! Ooh, Emmy fighting! Ooh! Ooh! Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, that was a really cool shot. Yeah, choke him out, Ultraman. He wants the recognition as a hero, but he can't even shoot. And that's why he gets decked. I'll hold this thing off. Take Sonazaki and get out of here. How exactly are you gonna do that? With this. I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> I'm gonna shoot it with Ultraman. Or is he gonna be large in here? And the answer is yes. But with the timing, I wonder if Emmy is gonna figure out that Gento is Ultraman at this point. She might be able to put, put it together. She's a smart cookie. And there he is doing the dance. Yes, about to serve these hands. Oh, with a knee. I wasn't sure what he was gonna open with today. <laughs> oh no, the building, Oh, Oh, he's a goopin. Oh, ironic. The Ultraman that does not seem to be shooting any beams at all right now. Just got nailed by a freaking beam. You know what, for that, I kind of want him to spawn with his own dang old beam. Introduce the, the Blazar beam. The Blazium Ray. The butt? Ooh. Ooh, who's piloting? Is it someone who knows how to fight? It is. I like how this team really has like the strategies. Also, if you ever want to see a team that does not have the strategies, go ahead and watch Ultraman Taro. Oh! Haha, <laughs> you cannot have a goop if you are frozen. The butt. Is it done? It's looking pretty done. Hey. Well? Here. <laughs> Getting flowers from the cute girl. Oh shoot, that episode was smarter than me. <laughs> <laughs> but what can I say, man? I had Emmy in it. She was super cute and super cool. But it was also a little bit about, um, it wasn't just about Emmy. It was also about Emmy and her direct contributions to the team. I was kind of hoping to get like a little bit of like background on Emmy. But, um, I don't know. It's not, I can't say I'm disappointed. I enjoyed that episode a lot. <laughs> just because, man. She's cute and cool, <laughs> but it was also, you know, showing a little bit, of, a little bit more of Gento, just being cool, <laughs> um, just getting a glimpse of how there, there was like a huge mind game in it. <laughs> it wasn't just about the action; it was about, um, it was a large part about like the the strategies of this team, the mind games, the battle of the battle of minds, kind of. <laughs> Um, because there was a lot of struggle for Gento in creating plans, executing them, trying to be one step ahead, and that was a large part of, like, the tension of the episode, I think. But yeah, um, super cool. I loved it. I'm into it. <laughs> well, anyway, in the comments, let me know. Let me know just your thoughts of the episode. <laughs> Did it convince you that Emmy might still be the, the best character in the show? And if you had fun along with me, go ahead and give this video a like and share it with a friend so that they too can become a fellow hero. Also, remember that I do stream Tuesdays and Thursdays from 6pm to 8pm Eastern Time. I'm playing games, chilling with a chat, and just generally having a pretty good time. I hope I can see you there. <laughs> and if you haven't already, go ahead and action smack that subscribe button so that it's easier to keep up with all the videos and the streams and all the busy work that I am doing for you. <laughs> and as always, thank you guys so much for being here, and I will see you in the next Smackchan packed 
adventure. Okay, we're